Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today I show you my latest find. It's Lego set 6980, Galaxy Commander from 1983. So keep watching the video. The set is also known as Starship Explorer. It has the theme, space and the sub-theme, classic. The set has 443 pieces and 5 minifigs. The original retail price was 52 euros. It was one of the 9 space sets produced in 1983. Earlier I posted a video in which you can see a review of LEGO set 6930 space supply station from that same year. So this is my second space set from 1983 in my collection. This set 6980 is quite rare and very hard to find at a reasonable price. Especially if you want it complete with the box, manual, cardboard inlay and the plastic inlay in two pieces. I found this in an online auction for 130 euros. If you start searching on various websites a lot more is asked. Whether they actually get these asking prices is another question. But I'm happy with my find, even though it's not perfect. The original cardboard on the side is missing and has been replaced. One piece of plastic is missing. But the rest of the plastic inlay and also the cardboard inlay are present, which is very positive. And last but not least, the manual is also included and it is in good condition. Good format with clear drawings and instructions. I always like to have the box and manual with it, because that way you can also see some nice alternative builds. These drawings and photos are always very beautiful and professionally finished. It already gives you the right sense of theme when you start building. So the images are nice, but I always regret that the alternative builds are not described in detail in the manual. Especially with large sets with many parts like this one. These builds are quite difficult to make, especially for a child. Let's look at the set. First, the minifigs. Five in total. In a classic space uniform. The baseplate, road 32 by 32 9 stud landing pad with yellow circle pattern. It's okay, but given the size of the set, it would have been nicer to provide at least two or even three baseplates. One of the plates could then be one with a crater structure, for example. In this set mainly blue and white bricks are used. The color scheme is noticeably different from an earlier spaceship from 1979, Galaxy Explorer. In that set the designers worked with a lot of gray and transparent yellow. Personally I like white better than gray. It is brighter and the set will stand out much more. Basically I build a large spaceship, a landing pad and two ground vehicles. So four different parts and that makes it challenging. I really enjoy it because they are all basic bricks that I can put together. I really have the feeling that I am building bricks. They are not ready-made large elements that I need to assemble. Which is the case in much more recent sets. And that's the beautiful result. It is a large ship. And together with the ground vehicles and minifigs, you really get a lot for your money. I like the cockpit windows. These antennas are somewhat asymmetrical and also feel a bit brittle. I can imagine that they break easily when playing. You can disconnect the spaceship from the ground station. And you can split up this ground station into two again.
Nice finish and details for that time. Except from the base plate, I am satisfied with the set. It certainly deserves a place in my collection. A beautiful and fun theme, and lots of bricks that you can get creative with. And of course the condition and also for its historical value. It's a collector's item. Feel free to write down your comments under this video. You can also like and subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching and until the next video.